So my attempt in this video is to make it as fast as I can without any unnecessary information and me not rambling like I am now and um, give you some tips and advice that I did not see in other videos because I probably spent like a good three nights in a row just watching video after video trying to get some good tips. I'm going to tell you my top three things that I found that helps best with taking care of your nose ring and even preventing it from getting a bump. So I'm gonna say my number one thing that I felt like I didn't see, I don't think I, anyone mentioned this, um, was not over cleaning it. And actually not cleaning it when you, this goes for people that have a bump that is bleeding and you kind of keep getting the pus and you know, this and the that. Um, what happens when we have a scab? And this is just my opinion. I totally respect the advice of a professional, the people who peers. I think you should take their advice, but this is just work, what worked for me. But I, when you get a scab, you don't pick at it. You don't try to clean around the area. You just kind of let it be, and you let the dang thing scab. What sucks about that is it's ugly. And you're like, I got places to go. I ain't trying to walk around with this scab. I want a gun. But it's not that easy. You need to let it go. Blood, pus, and all. Let it go. Let it be. Um, luckily, I'm a manicurist. So, like, I was just walking around with my mask all day. <laughs> so, but um, what I would say, what I did do, though, however, is I, witch hazel, you can get it, I think, at any drugstore. It's like a, it's. It's not as harsh as alcohol. It's an astringent and it's very gentle and it's awesome and it helps with irritation and um, any kind of skin ailment usually. So I would take a Q-tip and I would just lightly dab the area. It wasn't like trying to clean it off. That's what I would do. About three days later when I thought this may come off, like this is a scab now, I think it could come off easily, but what I always, what I did and what I would always do when this would happen again is I would wait till after my shower, when you have all that moisture and the heat, your pores are open, you don't want a scab could kind of just fall off easier. I would take the Q-tip and I would just kind of lightly, gently, um, if you feel, if you don't take real hot showers, just like maybe do a warm compression, a really, really warm compression um, after your shower even if you don't take a shower just like leave a warm compression there for a good while and then just gently gently clean the area and kind of gently remove it and underneath you will have a nice clean and clear area you might see a little bit of redness there could be like a slight bump of irritation but that's going to go away if you don't touch it i feel like don't over clean your area maybe just dab a dot of witch hazel Alcohol, I've used alcohol. I don't feel like it, it makes it worse. I, I don't think it necessarily takes away the bump either, in my opinion. Um, but another thing is when you get the bump and you don't necessarily have a scab, you just have a bump and um, just maybe a little bit of irritation is the sea salt, sea salt scr uh, paste that they've talked about making actually do work, but pink Himalayan sea salt guys like that's the purest form of salt it is it has healing properties okay like a regular salt doesn't have that if you want the best of the best what I did is I made my own little paste you know with like the hot water and I put the pink salts in like a little shot glass or whatever and I crushed it up with the q-tip and then I just put a little paste and left it on my nose overnight and the next morning that really took the bump down so that was awesome um those I think those were my top three things though was um, not messing with it, letting it scab over, just letting it be, not trying to remove it. Don't try to remove the bump for crying out loud. You're always gonna have one otherwise. And um, the pink, the pink salts. And uh, okay, here's another. This is just a theory. Uh, so I believe that if you sleep. On your back or slightly elevated it's gonna help because I really believe if you sleep on your face like I do or face down in any way you're kind of you're kind of bringing pressure here I think when you're upright you know all the, the blood goes this way you know what I mean it's not um, accumulating in the area where you have this irritation where your body is trying to heal this you know what I mean 
I think it's so much, it, it's helpful to lay on your back to lay to, or somewhat upright so that there's no pressure. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? That's just my theory. I feel like it does help. I often have a bump because I sleep on my face. I sleep on my stomach. I accidentally hit it. So it really sucks. I know how to get rid of these things wonderfully. Honestly, like I feel like I have um, mastered that. But I just like need to be more careful when I sleep and when I am more conscious at night and I sleep on my back or maybe even a little upright. I wake up and I just don't have any problems. So um, that's also very helpful. I, I don't think anyone even mentioned that, but I'm like, hey, you know, it just makes sense. It, it just makes sense, you know what I mean? So I hope that this was helpful. Um, witch hazel was one of the things I mentioned and pink Himalayan salts. And they're um, cheap at Trader Joe's, actually. That's all.